Welcome to Double D in the Morning. This is Double D in the Friday Morning, Episode 32, The Story of Doss Butler. He was born Charles Dawson Butler on November 16, 1916, in Toldew, Ohio, to Charles Allen Butler and Ruth Butler. He was he grew up as an Impressionist. In 1935, he mastered in being an Impressionist and got noticed for his voice talents in local nightclubs and comedy acts. But he quit his act in 1941 when he joined the Navy. In 1941, after America joined World War II. After World War II, he got to working with MGM cartoons and animation, where he voiced Spike of Spike and Tyke, and John of One Cab's Family, and John of jo Little Johnny Jet, the dads of those shorts. From 1953 to 1957, till MGM shut their animation department down, he voiced what is be known to the predecessor character for his most famous Hanna Barbera character, Huckleberry Hound, the Southern Wolf. After MGM closed their animation in '57, Hanna Barbera opened up their own thing in '58. And this next part is his most famous part of his career, the Hanna Barbera part, which he worked for them for '58 to '78. In Hanna Barbera's first t TV short, Rough and Ready, he played the cat Rough next to the best friend dimwit character Reddy the dog which was voiced by Don Messick. Doss had been doing this character's voice since 1953 but this is the main character the, sex, the successor to the other character he did this character from 58 to 61 Huckleberry Hound on the Huckleberry Hound show that was the main show but he also reprised the role as the character in the 70s on Yogi's Ark Lark and Yogi's Treasure Hunt the successor show to the Huckleberry Hound show was Quick Draw My Girl. That was their third show. He voiced the title character Quick Draw and the sidekick Bubba Louie. These two co-protagonists were the law and order on the show. Quick Draw My Girl was the sheriff and, and Bubba Louie was the deputy. One of his many side characters with Don Mezick was Augie Doggy and Doggy Daddy. He played Doggy Daddy and Augie Doggy, the son, was played by Don Messick. He also played the lead character in The Peter Potamus Show, a 1960 show that was very similar to Yogi's Ark Lark, that he would go around in adventures, looking for adventures to explore around the world with his little monkey sidekick. He also played the shortest of the three goofy guards, Yahooey, of Yippie Alien Yahooey, which was a comedic take on the Three Musketeers. A lot of the ones that I've been talking about so far were from at least 58 to 61. This was from 60 to 61, Yogi Bear, where he played the main character. It was a take on Art Carney's character from The Honeymooner. He also played the main character on The Wally Gator Show, a wild zoo gator with wild antics, who said things similar to the snack of bus like Heavens to Murgatroyd and stuff like that. Heavens to Murgatroyd, enter stage right even, exit stage left. That was your Snugglepuss character, who originally was an orange side character to the Yogi Bear show, but he got his own show because he was popular enough. He lasted from 1960 to 61 on Yogi Bear and then from 62 to 60. Hokey Wolf was another 1960s animal anthropomorphic character that he played. This wolf was a con artist. It was one of his more famous characters. Snooper and Blab were a cat and mouse detective group of crime fighters similar to Watson and, and Sherlock. Loopy de Loop was Hanna Barbera's last theatrical short character and was also played by Doss Butler, one of their more famous con artist animal characters. From 61 to 62 and in 85 to 87, he played Elroy Jetson on the Jetsons. Elroy Jetson was your typical smart boy of the future in 2062. He had a genius level intellect that was of that time period. He was your all American boy, he was just a genius. Using his old Snugglepuss voice in the 70s, he rebooted that voice and character basically as the Fungi Phantom, the 1700s, 18th century ghost from the patriotic colonial war days. It had a ghost cat, and they run around solving mysteries like the Scooby-Doo. 
in another 1970 show that he was on, he played the big hairy hair of the Hair Bear Bunch, the one with the Afro wig. This is a picture of him in the late 70s as he got older. This is in about 78, so I think he would have been about 62. Later in his career, when he quit voicing as much, he still did voice stuff. One of his famous trainees is Bart Simpson, and Rod and Todd, and Nelson, and FX the Alien from Fantastic Max. Yes, I'm talking about the voice actors behind all those characters, Nancy Cartwright. He voice trained her, can you believe that? Well, that's it for today's video. Join me next Friday for Double D in the Friday Morning, episode 33, the story of Don Messick. And if you like this video, and if you're looking forward to next week's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell, so you'll always know about my videos. And don't forget the name of my channel is Double D in the Morning. And don't forget to also follow me on my social media at Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, my TikTok, and my Facebook fan group, Drew's YouTube Fame.